स्टूडेंट इन प्रीवियस क्लास एंड डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू फाइंड द जनरल टर्म ऑफ एपी जनरल टर्म ऑफ एपी मीन्स अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन एंड डिराइव द फॉर्मूला ए एम इक्वल्स टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन इन टू डी वे आर ए एन जनरल टर्म ऑफ एपी ए फर्स्ट टर्म ऑफ एपी एन इज द नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स इन एपी एंड डी इज द कॉमन डिफरेंस एंड एंड डी इज कॉमन डिफरेंस एंड दिस फॉर्मूला आई गिव एन एक्सरसाइज फाइव पॉइंट टू यू एज अ होम वर्क एंड आई डिस्कस वन क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दिस फॉर्मूला In exercise 5.2 of question number one, the most here we have given unit D and I find the A. A is given seven. D becomes equal to three and N becomes equal to eight. N becomes equal to eight. And now using the general term A, we have find A plus N minus one into D. So seven plus eight minus one becomes equal to seven. And seven is a twenty-one. It is twenty-eight. And this is based on finding the general term of AP. This is application of the formula. Okay. Now I am move to the question number second. In question number second, choose the correct choice in the following adjusted by thirty. Term of the AP is. The question is given in second question. We are noted down or. Take a screenshot, and after class you have to note it down. Now in second question, it is a like objective question. Here he ask you about choose the correct terms. Justify thirty terms of the APJ. If you find the thirteenth term of the thirteenth term, so what is the value of n? In place of n, you put thirty. Question the second. The question is. Find the thirteenth term of the AP. Find the thirteenth term of the AP. Ten, seven, four, and so on. Ten, seven, four. That is an objective type question. Now, what is given? Here, firstly, given n, and also you have the given AP is ten, seven, four. Then from AP. This is the first term of the AP, and and what is the common difference? Common difference we have uh, subtracts ten from seven. Then it is minus one. Now if you find the thirteenth term, use the fourth term. A thirty equal to A plus thirty minus one into D. Same thing. A is equal to A plus ten minus one into D. Same as. Then ten plus thirty minus one into twenty nine into minus three. Okay, and what is this? Plus minus minus. And this is minus of seventy seven. It is minus of seventy seven. So option number B is correct. Option number B. B option is correct because B option is minus seventy seven. If he uh, asks, find the hundredth term of the AP. Find the hundredth term of the AP. Then you put n equals to hundred. Then you put n equals to hundred. So what is the hundredth term of AP? It is a hundred. And in general, it is write down a plus ninety ninety. If I ask the question, find the two hundredth term of the AP. So what is two hundredth term of the AP? It is a plus one hundred ninety nine d. It is a plus one hundred ninety nine d. It is two hundred term of the AP. Now move to the next question. Find the missing term of missing term in the box. The missing term in the box is find by also this term. You have to solve this question. But I am going to which term of the AP is seventy eight? This type of question is discussed in the classroom. Now I'm taking an application. An AP consists of fifty term, in which third term is twelve, last term is this. Find the twenty-ninth term. Okay. Now 
See question number 9. If you have any doubt in previous question, you can ask me. I resolve the problem by making another video of that, of the solution of that question. Okay, so in question number 9 it is given if if the third, if the third and the nine terms of an AP terms of an AP are four and minus terms of AP are four and minus eight respectively. Which term of this AP is 0? Which term of this AP is 0? You have to find which term of this AP is 0. If you have to find which terms of which term of this AP is 0, you know, firstly, we have to find the value of A, D, okay? After then we have to find the N, okay? So, because 0, 0 means A N is given. If uh, I am telling you the 7th term of the AP is 9, then we have to write A 7 equal to 9. And here, which term of the AP is 0? If we consider the nth term of the AP is 0, then here A N equal to 0 means A N is given. And if we apply the formula a plus n minus 1 into d, means we have to find n. And finding n, firstly we have to find a and d. And how to find a and d? In this question, you have given third and ninth term of an a, b, or third and minus 1. So firstly consider let the first term, let the first term of an a, b be a and Common difference B and common difference B D and common difference B D. Then according to question A3, A3 equals 2, 4. So what is A3? A3 is A plus 2D. If we put here 3, 3 minus 1 is 2, then A plus 2D. A4 is A plus 3D. A5 is A plus 4D. Means 1 less. अगर फिफ्थ टर्म पूछ रहा है तो फिफ्थ से वन माइनस के फोर फोर का डी में हम क्या किया मल्टीप्लाई किया तो ए प्लस टू डी इक्वल टू फोर दिस इस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एंड आल्सो ये नंबर नाइन टर्म ऑफ एन ए बी इस माइनस वन ए नाइन इक्वल टू माइनस एट सो इट इस ए प्लस एट डी इक्वल टू माइनस एट एंड यार यू Three methods, mostly in term one, two methods are come, like uh, cross multiplication methods are deducted from your syllabus. You have to use either substitution or elimination method, whatever you want. Here I am going to find A and D. How to find A and D? I am going to use elimination method. Elimination method. From question number, uh, equation number to this, and from this, A plus A and D. Okay. How to eliminate A by subtracting it? By subtracting. So it cancel out. It is minus 60. It is 12. So D equals to minus 2. If you find the D, substitute here minus 2, 2 to the 4. Minus 4 here goes and you get A equal to 8. D equals to minus 2 A equal to 8. Let an term of the AP be 0. Now consider let an term of the AP be 0. An term of the AP be 0. Okay, let an term of the AP be 0. So, what we have to do now, I am going to do this. Okay, you have to stop the video and write down, no problem. In video, it is possible. But in classroom, not possible. So, take that one. Yes. An term is A n equal to 0. A plus n minus 1 d equal to 0. So what is the value of A? It is 8. 
n minus 1 and what is the value of d? It is minus 2 equal to 0. So 8 minus 2n plus 2 equal to 0. 10 minus 2n equal to 0. This implies 2n equal to 10. So n equal to 5. So which term of the AP is 0? Hence fifth term of the AP is 0. Fifth term. Hence last thing you write as hence. Fifth term of this AP is 0. Fifth term of this AP is 0. Now move to next question. Tenth question. If 17th term of AP exceeds a 10th term by 7, find the common difference. So what do you mean by exceeds? You are given 17th term of AP is exceeds by 10. So what do you mean कि जो आपका 17 टर्म है वो 10th टर्म से कितना ज्यादा है 7 7 ज्यादा यानी 7 ज्यादा इसका मतलब ये है कि अगर हम 17th टर्म्स में से 10th टर्म को माइनस करें तो हमें 7 मिलेगा मींस a 17 minus a 10 equal to 7 and this means that the 17th term of ap exceeds a 10th term by 7 you have also write down as it is the a 17 becomes equal to a 10 plus 7 and you have also to subtract a 17 minus a 10 equal to 10. So from here you find a relationship between this and also find the value. Okay. Which term of AP will be 132 more than its 54 term? N at term. Consider N at term of the APB. Okay students, if you have any doubt in exercise 5.2, you can ask me on the next lecture. How many multiples are for lie between 10 and 250? Question number 14. How many multiples of 4 lie between 10 and 50? This is very very important question. How many multiples? And here what question also arises? What? What is the multiple? What is the multiple of 4? And how to write the multiple of 4? You know, 4, manja 4. Multiply 4 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You get its multiples. Okay? Here but uh, there is a condition. Lies between 10 and 250. 10 and 250 ke beech mein हम उन मल्टीपल्स को सबसे पहले राइट आउट करेंगे और वहां से क्या निकालेंगे फर्स्ट वी हैव फाइंड द वैल्यू n n को हम फाइंड आउट करेंगे ठीक है ना क्योंकि यहां पे हमें n ही फाइंड आउट करना है कि कितने मल्टीपल्स होंगे 4 के जो लाइक करते हैं 10 और 50 के बीच में तो हाउ मेनी मल्टीपल्स ऑफ 4 लाइक बिटवीन 10 एंड 250 तो फर्स्ट वी आई एम गोइंग टू राइट मल्टीपल्स बिटवीन मल्टीपल ऑफ 4 टू द 8 8 इज लेस देन 10 and 4 3 is 12, so 12. 4 3 is 12, 4 4 is 16, 4 5 is 20, and so on. 4 5 is 20, and so on. Last term, no need to write down. You have also write down last term. 250, 248, I think. Divide it, 5 4, you have written. So here, A equal to 12. D equal to 16 minus 12 equal to 4. And A equal to 248. A n equal to 248. N at term is 248. N at term equal to 248. So A plus N minus 1 into D equal to 248. And A 12, 12 plus N minus 1 into 4 equal to 248. 4 N minus 4, 12 plus. So it is 4 N. 12 minus 4 8 and uh, 8 here it goes and subtracted. So 4 n equal to 240. So this is cancelled out by 60 times. So n equal to 60. So there are 60 terms between 10 and 250 that is multiple of. Okay. So students, if you have any doubt in any question of exercise 5 and 2, you have to tell me. On, uh, if you have any doubt, then I will resolve. Otherwise, I will move to the next topic in the next lecture. Okay, thank you.